फ्रेंड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द लॉ ऑफ मास एक्शन एंड चार्ज बैलेंस इक्वेशन इन माय वीडियो नाउ वी विल सी द न्यूमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम द लॉ ऑफ मास एक्शन व्हिच हैव अपीयर्ड इन पास्ट इन गेट एग्जामिनेशन एज सच देयर वाज नो डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चार्ज बैलेंस इक्वेशन सो वी वांट टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट नाउ लेट अस हैव लुक एट द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लॉ ऑफ मास एक्शन द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट वाज इन गेट ईसी 2003 the intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon sample at 300 k is 1.5 into 10 to the power 16 per meter cube if after doping the number of majority carriers is 5 into 10 to the power 20 per meter cube the minority carrier concentration is now you are given four options answer is of course this is a that is mentioned and that is given now let us look at the solution here the type of charge carrier is not given uh, majority carriers rather is not mentioned so we will be assuming that material is n type semiconductor and what is given to us we are given majority carrier concentration that is i am assuming n type so it is n uh, type concentration means the donor impurity concentration is 5 to 10 to power 20 per centimeter cube so in that case the minority carrier concentration for n type semiconductor is given by this is the expression as per law of mass action pn stands for concentration of holes in n type semiconductor that is equal to ni square by nd and you just need to put the values given to us this and intrinsic carrier concentration this into this expression and you get the answer that's it and the uh, i have given the reference of book after the solution of every question that is beauty of my solution you won't find this thing in any other uh, solution now let us have the look at the second question that was in ec 2006 the concentration of minority carriers in an intrinsic semiconductor at under equilibrium is directly proportional to doping and these are the option given to us directly proportional to doping then inversely proportional to doping concentration directly proportional to intrinsic inversely proportional and this is the formula you have and from this formula it is very much clear the minority carrier concentration is inversely proportional to the doping concentration then next question that was in 2014 ec2 that means set 2 of electronics one more question silicon bar is doped with donor impurity you are given donor concentration uh, given intrinsic carrier concentration at 300 k is ni into 1.5 to 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube then you how to find assuming the complete impurity ionization equilibrium electron and hole concentration and the formula we have already seen you are given majority carrier concentration that is nd you are given minority uh, uh, intrinsic carrier concentration so by putting into the formula you have you get the answer directly so then let us have look at the question next question that was in uh, 2014 ec4 fourth, fourth set consider a silicon sample doped with nd equal to u are given donor concentration assume that intrinsic carrier concentration is this that is 1.5 to 10 to the power 10 if the sample is added with doped or doped with additional impurity that is acceptor impurity that means you are doped with two types of impurities that is and when you have both types of impurity that is called compensated semiconductors and i have given you the expression for compensated semiconductors so for compensated semiconductors if nd is more than a more than na you have to replace the nd minus na that is n has to be replaced in the denominator by nd minus na and if acceptor concentration is more than donor concentration which is this case you have to replace p in the denominator by n a minus n d in case of p type here n a is more than n d so it is behaving like acceptor type of uh, impurity so it will be behaving like p type material so this is the expression we will be using n d is this n a is this n a means that is acceptor impurity is more than donor impurity so it behaves like p type material so in that case concentration of min minority carriers that is electrons is given by this so this was fill in the blank so i get answer directly now let us have look at the next question that was in 91 a silicon sample is uniformly doped with this is the donor uh, uh, phosphorus is nothing but group 3 atom that is acceptor impurity 
and boron is nothing but uh, again uh, this sorry I'm sorry tell first force is a uh, donor impurity so that is group 5 and boron is acceptor impurity that is group 3 so we have that means we have both type of impurities in the semiconductor if it has both types of impurities in the semiconductor so it is nothing but compensated semiconductor so I have to find the uh, impurity of N and P type uh, that is concentration of electrons and holes now first force is 10 to the power 16 and boron is 2 into 10 to the power 16 so boron is more than phosphorus that means acceptor impurity concentration is more than donor impurity concentration so the material behaves like n type so n d is more than n a this is the formula we have seen if n a is more than n d this is the formula we have seen so here acceptor impurity is more so n d is this n a is this n a is more than n d we have to use this expression and if n a is more than n d it behaves like p type material so answer is it, it the mat if material is doper, uh, if uh, all the dopants are fully analyzed the material is nothing but p type with concentration of this so that is given to you so that is how you have to handle the question now next question gate 95 in p type silicon sample hole concentration is this 2.25 into 10 to the power 15 if intrinsic carrier concentration is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 the lacton concentration is now p type if this is p type material hole concentration is given so that means you are given acceptor concentration then you are given intrinsic concentration you have to find the electron concentration means minority carrier concentration the formula is np is equal to ni by n a square np stands for concentration of electrons in p type material that is minority carrier concentration so you have this result then let us have a look at the next question the intrinsic carrier concentration at 300 k is 1.5 times power 10 in silicon for n type silicon doped with uh, doped to 2.25 to the power 15 atoms per centimeter cube the equilibrium concentration of holes so now you are given what the donor concentration and you are given intrinsic carrier concentration so donor concentration is this and intrinsic carrier concentration is already given so for holes uh, that is holes in anti metal is n i square by n d you put the values given in this expression you get the result answer is c so that is how we solve the numerical then the electron and hole concentration in intrinsic uh, uh, <coughs> in intrinsic semiconductor and i and p i now you know the char that is law of mass action for intrinsic carrier uh, for intrinsic semiconductor ni is pi so according to law of mass action n into p is ni square so that is nothing but law of mass action so these are the questions which have appeared from law of mass action i hope you can understand the questions are very simple once you remember the formula and understand the basic concept of the topic so wait for my another video to come where I will be discussing theories and the questions from the previous year exam.